Hello, as a strong advocate of holding crypto in a non-custodial wallet and given the current speculations about uncertain levels of liquidity of some crypto exchanges, I'll show how to withdraw crypto from exchanges to your wallet, specifically how to withdraw DOT and KSM from Binance and Glimmer and USDT from KuCoin. Not your keys, not your crypto. By no means this video aims to create any fat or concern. I just want to show to those who still keep some Polkadot ecosystem crypto assets in exchanges how to withdraw them and why you might want to consider withdrawing. The only thing you need is to have one of Polkadot ecosystem wallets installed on your computer or phone, either Polkadot Jazz, Talisman or Sub Wallet. All these wallets work as an extension in your browser. I'm using mostly Polkadot Jazz, so I'll show how to withdraw crypto from Binance and KuCoin to this wallet. It works exactly the same with Talisman and Sub Wallet. In general, every time you want to withdraw coins and tokens out of a crypto exchange, you need to specify four things. Crypto that you are withdrawing. Second and most important is correctly adding your wallet address to which you are transferring your crypto. Then selecting the network via which you are transferring crypto from the exchange. And lastly, how much you are transferring. Now let's withdraw some DOT and KSM from Binance. Click your wallet and select Fiat and Spot. Here is my crypto balance. I want to withdraw all my DOT, so I click withdraw. This is a withdrawal UI, withdrawing DOT. Here I select Polkadot network as I will be transferring my DOT to my Polkadot wallet. Now the most important step, I need to add my Polkadot wallet address. I go to Polkadot.js portal, switch the network to Polkadot and go to my accounts. Here I simply copy my Polkadot wallet address by clicking on this icon each Polkadot address starts with number 1. The other even faster way to copy my Polkadot address is in Polkadot Chess extension. Click these three vertical dots, then from this drop down menu select Polkadot Relay Chain. And here is my Polkadot address. Again I can copy by clicking on the icon. You can see both addresses are the same. Now having my Polkadot address copied into my clipboard, I go back to Binance and add the address. I can see the address I added automatically matched to corresponding network, in this case Polkadot. And lastly I want to withdraw all my DOT balance. Now click withdraw. On this withdrawal review always double check that the receiving address is really correct. I always check first and last four digits. If all is correct click continue. Here you enter all verification codes, hit submit and that's it. Withdrawal status is shown here, usually takes at most few minutes to complete. Now the transfer has been completed and I see I have received DOT to my wallet. To withdraw KSM you would just change KSM here. In your Polkadot.js extension select Kusama Relay Chain and copy your Kusama wallet address. Each Kusama address starts with an uppercase letter. Add the wallet address, the address automatically matched to Kusama network, enter the amount to withdraw and the rest is the same as when withdrawing DOT. Now withdrawing Glimmer and USDT from KuCoin. First you need to go to trading account and transfer all coins that you want to withdraw from KuCoin from your trading account to your main account here. Search the coin, click transfer, transferring from trading account to main account, add the amount and click confirm. Now I'm ready to withdraw my Glimmer from KuCoin to my Metamask Moonbeam EVM address. In my main account I search the crypto that I want to withdraw, so Glimmer, and I click withdraw. This is a withdrawal interface, the coin I'm about to withdraw. I can select a different crypto directly here. Now I need to add the address I want to withdraw to. I want to transfer a Glimmer to my Metamask EVM address, so I copy my EVM address from Metamask. Each EVM address starts with a zero. I add my Metamask Moonbeam EVM address. Now I select the network via which I'll be transferring. In this case it's simple as the only option is Moonbeam network, so I confirm. And lastly I add how much Glimmer I want to withdraw. The minimum is two Glimmer, so I add three and the withdrawal fee is one Glimmer. Now I click withdraw. Here I review the withdrawal, transferring three Glimmer. I double check again if the edit receiving address matches my Metamask EVM address, it does, and I am transferring via Moonbeam network, that's also fine. So I click confirm, add my trading password and verification codes, hit submit and I have sent an order to withdraw three Glimmer from KuCoin to my Metamask EVM wallet. The withdrawal status is down here, it usually takes several minutes for the withdrawal to be completed on KuCoin's site. And now I see I've received 3 Glimmer to my Metamask Moonbeam EVM wallet. 
withdrawing other Polkadot ecosystem coins such as Remark or Mover is basically the same. You can withdraw both Remark and Mover to your MetaMask Moonriver EVM address. So we will be transferring both Remark and Mover via Moonriver network. For Astar, you would need to add your Astar substrate address starting with a letter. You can copy your Astar substrate address from Polkadot.js wallet the same way as with Polkadot or Kusama address, but first you need to switch to Astar network. And lastly, how to withdraw USDT. I just leave a little bit of my USDT on Qcoin to have them ready for buy orders in case the market crashes while I am asleep which happens almost always, so I hold most of my USDT on MetaMask on Ethereum. To withdraw USDT from Qcoin, again first you need to transfer USDT from your trading account to your main account. So I am about to withdraw USDT, now which network to use? If you withdraw USDT directly to Ethereum, you will pay the fee 25 USDT. But if you withdraw USDT to Arbitrum, which is Ethereum's layer 2 scaling network, the fee is only 3 USDT. But if you really want to hold your USDT on Ethereum, a better option is to send USDT from Binance to your MetaMask Ethereum wallet, as the withdrawal fee from Binance directly to Ethereum is only 3.2 USDT, compared to 25 USDT on Qcoin. So besides some stablecoins on Binance and Qcoin, which are already in buy orders, I keep no other crypto in exchanges. So my crypto security rule is very simple to hold as much crypto as possible off exchanges stored on Ledger. I love to self-custody my crypto because that's a significant part of why I love crypto as a technology. Besides that, by far the biggest reason to hold private keys from your crypto is that you can never be 100% sure about what's gonna happen with your coins tomorrow if you keep them in exchanges, so why taking even the slightest risk? Hoping the video has been helpful to some of you, thanks for watching and see you next time.